guys so as you can see there that is woke protesters protesting outside of the home of nuri martinez the president of the la city council after it was revealed that she made comments that are being characterized as racist during a redistricting meeting uh last year with a few other city council members as well now last time i did a video on this right i did it right after the audio came out and at that point, uh, she and the other city council members had not resigned. Um, then the protest came, like I just showed you, in which they were protesting outside of the house. And pressure on them to resign has ratcheted up a lot to the point where Nui Martinez, the president of the uh, city council, uh, decided to step down from her position as president, at least initially right, in which she would remain on the city council. However, the woke revolutionaries were not satisfied with this, and basically all week, they have been protesting at the city council, demanding that the city council members resign. And it even got to the point where there was an absolutely glorious moment that I wanna share with you guys, in which the woke revolutionaries used the Democrats' talking points against them about the so-called threat to democracy and insurrection as again these democrats on the city council not only got caught making racist comments about a white dad's child black child but they also were making comments about gerrymandering and redistricting which is a controversial practice that that the world revolutionaries say is racist by enrique velasquez followed by tenacity Council members Martinez, Cedillo, and De Leon must resign immediately. The recordings were not comments that show frustration got the better of you, but display the character you are comfortable with when the cameras aren't rolling. Approximately 9% of LA is black, and each one are now less comfortable and less safe knowing that city council is not only full of bigots and racists, but also threats to democracy. I said what I said. You politicians and elected leaders of Los Angeles represent a great, if not a greater, threat to democracy than any Trump supporter with a flagpole. You are the true insurrectionists, because not only did you spew vile, hateful comments, but those comments clearly informed the way you exercise political power this city gave you by electing you to city council. Shame on you for subverting democracy this way. These comments were made over a year ago, and your apologies now prove that you aren't ashamed of your conduct or your behavior. You're ashamed you got caught. LA must be better than this and prove itself the example for the rest of the country to follow. Resign now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so it's just a shame that the woke revolutionaries uh, haven't caught up with this already, okay? That the Democrats don't actually really care about so-called democracy, that they do all the things that they say are so bad that Republicans do, like gerrymandering, redistricting, uh, you know, making claims that elections are stolen, Right. Yeah. Um, Democrats do those things. Again, it's, it's just a shame that it takes these people saying things that are overtly racist on camera for the work revolutionaries to actually care and realize that these people aren't who they say they are. Now, Nuri Martinez, the former president of the city council that resigned from her president position, but was on the city council, decided to step down from the city council uh, as the California Attorney General is opening up an investigation into the city council members for their conversation about redistricting. Take a look. Los Angeles City Council member has now stepped down over racist remarks that were made during a meeting on redistricting. Within the past 90 minutes, Nuri Martinez says she's resigning from her council seat. She and two other council members have faced criticism and widespread calls to step aside, including from President Biden. We no longer have quorum. 
City Council tried to meet this morning but had to call off the session for a second day in a row because of the protests that you see in here here. The group wanted Martinez, Kevin De Leon, and Gil Cedillo to step down. The three were part of a meeting where racist language was used to describe a colleague and his two-year-old son. All three have apologized, but only Martinez has resigned her council seat. Now, since the conversation was made public, more people have called for an overhaul of the redistricting process to address the ways that politics can influence the redrawing of maps. I think that if we can decentralize more of the power, have more diversity, have a greater voice, have greater representation, we can do that by increasing the number of council members. Because let's remember, the very source of this entire tragedy was a secret meeting at the County Federation of Labor by three of my colleagues discussing how to maintain power. And today, California Attorney General Rob Bonta said that he will investigate Los Angeles, Los Angeles's redistricting process. Bonta didn't give a lot of details, but said in a statement, quote, we are going to gather the facts. We're going to work to determine the truth and take action as necessary to ensure the fair applications of our laws. He said the investigation could lead to civil liability or criminal charges, depending on what is found. Yeah, so you guys, you know what I find to be kind of crazy about this whole situation with the L.A city council is that the war revolutionaries get so outraged by the wrong things. Okay. It always blows my mind. What gets them to actually be outraged and upset. Okay. Oh, we don't really care about the crime, the drugs, all the terrible things that are going on in LA, right? That really are the responsibility of the woke Democrats and progressives that are running that city. We're not going to protest about that. We're going to protest about uh, a city council person making racist comments. Now, again, I'm not necessarily saying that I condone those comments. I don't. But if you take race out of it, like the comment about the, uh, <laughs> the little kid acting like a monkey, right? If you take race out of it, she didn't really say anything, at least with that comment, that you haven't heard, you know, people of all races say about kids that act up. But because it was overtly racial, that made these people so upset to the point where they demanded that she resign and she did. But they haven't demanded that these people resign or lose their jobs or any type of real action when it comes to things like crime. Okay, these people claim they support and they care about black people so much, except they don't really care about the black people that are the victims of these crimes that is happening. Right. I mean, L.A. is being ran by gangs. Right. They're being ran by thugs and criminals. But you don't see any protests and outrage over that. What it takes to make the woke revolutionaries upset is not the actual killing of black people by other black people. Right. Or criminals or thugs. No, no, no. Uh, what it takes is for a city council person, a politician to say something that they deem to be racist. That's what gets them going, right? Or for uh, the Democrats to not allow homeless people to be sheltered outside of school, right? To hang out outside of schools. They also protested about that as well, too. Again, that's the thing that kind of <laughs> drives me crazy about these woke progressives. Because as glorious as it is to see them turning the Democrats and their rhetoric... <laughs> Right back on the Democrats, calling them insurrections, calling them the real threat to democracy. It's kind of hollow in the sense that you know they're coming at it from a progressive perspective, right? They're only saying it because these people got caught doing something what they deem to be racist. Although the Democrats have, again, been doing things like gerrymandering and making false claims about the election, along with all their other bad policies that they have. Um, they had nothing to really say about it unless the Democrats weren't woke enough. But what these people don't realize is that the problem with L.A., California, is that these Democrats are too woke, right? It's not that they're not woke enough. It's that they're too woke. Again, so it, it's hard to really, uh, you know, celebrate this in any way or to see this as some type of victory when we know at the end of the day, they're just going to replace these people with <laughs> woker, more progressive politicians, right? That's what's about to happen.
But again, it, it is glorious to see a Democrat like Nori Martinez, who has played the race card, right? She's a race hustler when it comes to Latino women, right? And what they want in their right, lose her seat after being caught <laughs> saying something that the work revolutionaries deemed as racist. And also pretty sweet to see the Democrats get called threats to democracy and insurrectionists and a lot more dangerous than any Trump supporter, which is true. The Democrats have always been a threat to democracy. They were making election claims before it was cool to make claims about the election. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.